to show you another knife that's a little bit out of the realm I usually do on this uh, channel. I, you know, I try to get some pretty extreme samples. I have another channel. Uh, I'll put a link to it in a card above where I cover, in addition to a lot of other things, some more some simpler knives, some multi tools, and things along those lines. But this channel I like to go just a little bit extreme. And here I've got uh, the MTech. Uh, Extreme MX8059. Now I, I began to look back and I've got a lot of MTech knives in my selection here. And I think the reason I really do like these knives is the fact that they are very, very simple knives. MTech is not a high end company. Their stuff tends to be very reasonable. The vast majority are under 20 bucks. It's not really, really why I got them because. I have a share of have SOGs, I have CRK, CRKTs. Got to admit, I haven't wandered over into Benchmade that often, but I don't have a large, a lot of fascination with very expensive knives like ones that are functional, that do what they claim to do, and they have some design qualities. MTech matches all of those, and I have not seen much quality problems here. I look at the little Torx screws here, and I see that they are. They are not stripped. It, it is, it's just a very solid, very simple knife. Uh, one that I think I would like to try to build myself one of these days. Uh, it has a side, it's, it's serrated on either end, very sharp serrations. And they tend to be relatively sharp for a production knife. But, you know, my whole production knives are sort of dull. And this is just a straight up dagger. Now that is basically beginning to border on the size that... Uh, that the, the constabulary in my area might have a little trouble with but not quite it is not the blade length is not whoa it's right at it it's right at five inches so you know that's one of those yes yeah, according to how the officer wants to measure it whether or not you have any issues with it but it's a really good knife and this is a marvelous sheath a leather sheath uh you know i don't see a whole lot of leather sheets among companies more the MTech uh, than any of the others uh, I see most of the plastic shields or sheaves of, sh of different sorts but this is a this is a pretty nice little sheath nice soft smooth and uh, I really like the way it it clicks to the side so it doesn't have it doesn't have a back part here where it's you have to clip it on there and then you only have access to the front of your knife. You have full access to the knife, which makes it a fast draw on an occasion when you would need a fast draw. So I thought I would show you this, give you a quick look at this one. I'll be good. I got some more I need to show you, but I uh, thought I would show that. It's been sort of sitting and, and biting at me for a while. Like I said, it's kind of extreme. It's right at five inches, which is the limit in my area. So you, and whenever you look at knives that begin to hit at that four and a half to five inch mark, you need to begin to look at your local rules and local laws just in case, because you don't want to run into any conflict. If you're out in, the, if you're hunting, you're out in the forest, you're out in the weeds, etc. Uh, it's not going to be an issue. But especially when you got a knife that is basically a dagger, and people will have questions. Okay, why have you got a dagger? You may just like them, but you know how the world works. In any case, uh. I think that's all I've got for you today, but I'll have some more uh, very soon. You have a wonderful day.